Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 448. Now, this week's episode is a topic that is like, I want to say kind of hard to discuss. And I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to make a video that's all sad, gloom, and doom. And I mean, some people might even be upset for me making this video, talking on this topic in the first place. But I'm like, you know what? It's 448 weeks into this. Who cares what anyone says or thinks about the videos I make anymore? I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about for fun. That's why I started these videos in the first place. I had nobody else to talk about with this stuff. I loved listening to the Chief and Sean show and watching Street Outlaws. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start making my own videos talking about this. And here we are, 448 weeks later. There's thousands of you that have watched over the years and interact with in the comments and enjoy talking about this stuff with me. And there's one topic that's almost been like eating away at me that I haven't really spoke about at all. The only time I've talked about it is up here in my head because I haven't talked to anyone in real life about it. And I've never mentioned it in a video. That being the topic of being, was Chief right about Strout Laws? Now, it's been a little bit now since the big Chief stepped away. Now, people might be getting pissed in the comment section right now than even mentioning his name in this video because people get so mad every time I bring his name up. They're completely done with Street Outlaws. Big Chief ain't coming back whatsoever. But upon his departure of Street Outlaws, the kind of gist we were getting was like, it's not what it used to be. It had stepped away from what it was at at its core when everyone loved it the most and it was at its peak. It's far from what it was then. And there is absolutely zero intentions of going back that direction whatsoever. That was kind of at the root of the situation that unfolded a couple of years ago. Now, with that idea is like, oh, it's getting away from the street stuff. It's all going to be no prep kings. It's kind of almost like, almost like corporate. You could say, look at Hoonigan. Hoonigan sucks now. I was one of the biggest fans of Hoonigan there was. I, what year? What year would it have been? I think it would have been like my junior, senior year in high school. So like 2017, 18, 19, right around there. Like Hoonigan, the daily transmission, all that stuff. It was amazing. Then this stuff, unfortunately, obviously Ken Block passed away. They sold like it was like Wheel Pros or something like that. And Hoonigan's just, it's not even like, they were one of the kings of automotive content on YouTube. You could say they were up there, like top three biggest automotive content people there were. And it's not even like, oh, uh, 16th of what it was before like it absolutely sucks now and we saw a lot of people step away in that trend like I might be getting a little too in-depth with the Hoonigan aspect here but a main concept is like a lot of people left and it was like oh no what's happening some people were like oh it's gonna be good it's gonna be good the people that were stuck around were saying it's gonna be good it's gonna be good but in the end it just turned out poop and like is your outlaws on a similar path now no prep kings is still good I like No Prep Kings. I have nothing against No Prep Kings. Was it ever my favorite? No, the street stuff was always my favorite. I think the majority of Street fans could say the street stuff has always been their favorite. But, like, upon all those changes initially taking place, I was kind of trying to stand the optimistic side of things and saying, oh, no, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine in the end. We're going to see the street stuff still. We're going to maybe have, like, some tra weird, tra awkward transition stuff. Look at that season of Fastest in America, or uh, the season of America's List, with, like, Sean kind of just, like, assuming the position of race match. like there was awkward transitions there and i was like okay we'll get out of those awkward phases and it'll get into some good stuff now we're a couple years later now and if anything we're in even greater awkward transitions as we sit right now with them leaving tv and being live on youtube now there is hope for the live street stuff yes of course but even if we have the live street stuff it's never going to be what it was it's never going to be back to what caused us to fall in love with it in the first place. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. You could say it is a bad thing because we're never going to get to see what we love the most. Obviously, that's not great. That would be rather bad, you could say. But the good thing I could see potentially is, okay, they did this stuff that was great. If they do the exact same thing, if they go into the exact same races, they're racing against the exact same guys, like, it would be boring. There'd be nothing exciting about it. they did the exact same thing every single season so the fact that it's been changed up is good has been, there been more negative than positive feedback with the changes yes i believe so but the thing is like with the street stuff going to live how is that going to be i think that's the key to the future of all of this stuff right now because as we sit right now chief was right the haters were right. Everyone that was saying, when Chief stepped away and saying it's not what it was, and then everyone saying Stratos is dead without him, right now they're right. Like, honestly, right now they're 100% correct. No Prep Kings is great. No Prep Kings is what it is. But the street side is 
like literally uh, there is nothing it is obsolete zero goose egg there's nothing there dude there's absolutely nothing there as we sit right now for the street stuff and so it's like it did die with Big Chief leaving. You could make that argument 1,000%. And if someone said in, is type, typing away in the comments right now saying that, I don't even have anything to respond to that because I'm like, no, you're right. The street stuff is absolutely dead right now. But say Dana White comes in. Again, like with that though, it's like, we don't even know. That's just if. That's a big if, 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 if. Everything is if with what's going on right now. We don't know. We don't know what the future is going to hold. It's a weird time right now. How long will Stradales go on for? Who knows? Is it even going to be another name, Stradales? Who knows? What is going on? Nobody knows. And it all stemmed from the Discovery Channel TV thing with No Prep King Season 6. That was like kind of... People say like, oh, Chief's definitely right. But like, no, I really think it was Discovery Channel with Season number 6 and No Prep Kings. That was the biggest like turning point in terms of like just the unknown abyss of we have absolutely no idea what's going on, when, when it's going on. So... To kind of like cap this off because like this, this I, I sorry, I'm kind of just like dumping my brain out in this video because like this topic I want to think about for a while and I've, I haven't talked about it in a video and I want to talk about it in the video here today because like it is a weird time. We don't have the street stuff anymore. The street stuff's literally gone right now. As we sit right now, we'll, we're never seeing the street stuff again. That's like because Jeff Lutz and Diamond are talking to starting line. They can talk about it all they want. That's not official. Drivers were saying that we were going to get No Prep King Season 6 on TV. We haven't gotten No Prep King Season 6 on TV. So it's like, they can say stuff. That doesn't mean it's gonna actually going to happen. So like, who knows? Who knows? I think if the the lives end up doing good, I think No Prep King Season number 8, next season is going to be a massive, massive season. If no, here, Here's how I'll end this off. If No Prep King Season number 8 has a whole fresh new vibe. They were no more, oh, I wish this was on TV. What's going on? Is it live? Like if they have everything set out, laid out, and established of what they're doing for next season, I think they'll be good from there. If next season is another awkward phase and transition, oh, wait, is Dana White coming in? What's going on? Where is this going to air? Like, I don't even know. Like it, it's going to be not too much longer, I think it's safe to say. And the street stuff will definitely be said, done, and gone. There is still going to be stuff going on. Like, it's not gone forever. Like, all the drivers, I'm sure, are going to still post YouTube videos and stuff. Like, 187 Customs, they, they're, most of the YouTube stuff they make, like, besides the No Prep Kings stuff, when they race over Kings, obviously they're going to make content of No Prep Kings, and even more so now, because there is no TV show. But, like, they'll, there's a channel that will still make content outside of Like, there's still going to be content of the guys and of the cars and of the drivers and all this stuff. But, like, there's no, like, to wrap this up real quick, it's not what it was. And it has significantly moved away from what it was. And there's no denying that Street Outlaws just isn't the same. And it might never get to get back to being the same ever again. It's, it's, it's hard to talk about, man. That's all for this week's episode of Street Aries Talk. I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Make sure you just click the little bell to turn on so you don't miss a single video that I upload. All of my videos that I upload at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Let me know your reaction to this. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think Chief was right? Do you think the haters were right with Chief leaving? Was that the end of Street Outlaws? Or was that just the end of the street stuff? Is No Prep Kings going to still flourish and move on for years to come? Is the street stuff going to return? Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff in the comment section down below. Like I said, I thank you guys for watching TVVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great week this week. And are looking forward to a great weekend this weekend. And I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TVVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all I say is XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sam, ABC, XYZ, signing out.